Hello and welcome. The focus of this lesson is on the update regions task. The role of this task is to update the properties of any defined regions in the computational model. After the CAD model has been imported and the surface mesh has been created, the described geometry task and its subtasks are used to define a computational model. After the completion of this task, ANSYS Fluid Meshing is fully aware of fluid, solid, and dead regions in the model. These identified regions and their properties are tabulated in the update regions task. Let me pass you over to my colleague who will help you understand the functioning of this task through an example. Launch ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode. Go to File, Read, and select Mesh and then pick the provided mesh file. Once Fluent finishes reading the file, you will notice that the watertight geometry workflow has been automatically set up and all the tasks till described geometry and its subtasks have already been successfully completed. This is because the surface mesh that we just imported into Fluent has originally been created using the watertight workflow and saved after completing the described geometry and its subtasks. Such files, when read back into Fluent, retain the information regarding their workflow. The model we have here is that of a heatsink, which is the solid domain, placed inside an enclosure, which is the fluid domain. So, there are a total of two domains or regions in the model, and these are listed in the update regions task. The first column lists the names of each of the regions, and the second column lists the region type. Either hovering or left clicking once on the name of any of the regions highlights them in the graphics display window. To change the names of any of the regions, simply double left click on the appropriate region name, enter the new name and press the enter button on the keyboard. The draw regions button can be used to filter the regions that are displayed in the graphics window. One can choose between displaying all the regions or just the solid or the fluid regions. A custom set of regions can be visualized by selecting them in the table, right clicking and selecting draw selections in the context menu. This context menu also has the options to change the region name or type. If any of the regions have been wrongly identified, that is, a wrong region type has been assigned than what is required. It can be fixed from the region type drop down menu for that specific region. The choice of region type is between solid, fluid and dead. Note that dead regions are the same as a void or a pocket in the domain and are not transferred to the fluent solver. It is critical that the regions are rightly defined not only to simulate the correct physics but also to ensure the successful implementation of downstream workflow tasks such as add boundary layers which relies on the region type to speed up the setup and generation of the prism layers. The print summary button can also be used to print the information regarding the regions to the console window. Once you are satisfied with the region assignment, click update regions to confirm and move to the next task in the workflow. In case any changes need to be made to any of the settings, click revert and edit. Make your changes and click update to confirm the changes or click cancel to cancel your changes. To summarize, in this lesson, we learned about how to modify the name and type of regions defined in the computational model using the update regions task of the ANSYS Fluent Meshing watertight geometry workflow. With that, let's wrap up this lesson.